Hey everybody, Millie and Harmony present the calorimetry lab. So first thing you got to do inside, you're going to get the volume of water, which is going to be 100 milliliters. Okay, so we're going to get 100 milliliters of water. And you're going to get the mass of your chip holder and your chip. Okay, so each pair is going to have one chip, either a baked lay or a regular lay. And you're going to put this whole thing on the balance together. Okay, so here it is. Here's my mass. And I've got the water in there. And I am recording the initial temperature of my water, which is 22 degrees Celsius. And the mass, as you can see, is 68.73 grams. I've got the whole chip and the chip holder on there because when it burns, I'm not going to be able to collect the chip by itself. All right, so once we got the initial mass of the water and the initial temperature of the water and the initial mass of the chip that you have, we are going to go outside in order to burn it to figure out the temperature difference. We're going to go right outside and we want to be close to the building um, because of the wind. When you try to light your chip, it's kind of annoying because the wind tends to blow out your flame. You're going to bring those whiteboards outside so you can put a little bit of shield around your flame, uh, but the closer to the building you are, the better, the better off you're going to be. And of course, don't forget those goggles. All right, so as you can see right here, the chip is starting to burn. It took a little while to get it lighted, so you may have to light it more than once with your match. The whiteboards here are being used to block the wind, okay? And here I am lighting it again. It's really hard to record and light something at the same time. You're going to be doing yours outside. I did mine in the hood because it's just one lab and... It was Sunday, so I did it inside, in the hood, which is properly ventilated. So, we're going to burn the chip, and we're going to see the amount of calories the chip has by the amount of t heat it is going to be releasing when it burns. So, calories, or energy, found in food are measured by the amount it takes one gram to raise the temperature by one degree Celsius. So here we go. We can measure this by looking at our thermometer as the chip burns. And as you can see, it's starting to go up. I'm holding the thermometer in the water. It's not touching the bottom of the can because I don't want to measure the temperature of the metal. I want to measure the temperature of the water. And here you can see it is actually starting to rise. Okay, and I'm going to record my final temperature when the chip is done burning. After you're done burning your chip, put a piece of foil over it so that way none of the burnt chip parts will blow away. Before we go inside from the lab, you're going to need to cover up your chip holders with the foil. Otherwise, your burnt chip, since it's burnt, it doesn't have a lot of mass and it can blow away in your walk upstairs. So you need to cover it up and you're going to put your chip holders back in the green bin. Also, to make sure that nothing gets lost, you can cover up your bin with your whiteboards. The ring stand should be carried separately. Also, the can should be carried separately. Do not carry the ring stand with the stirring rod still in place. Otherwise, you can damage the glass, your hands, and the setup. So carry everything else separately. Please protect your chips, so don't want to lose any mass. That is called error analysis. When you go back inside, you're going to put your chip holder plus the burnt chip on the balance. Using the foil will ensure that you have all of your burnt chip intact. All right, so now we're going to do some calculations. Here is my mass of the chip that burned. I just do 
uh, before burning minus after burning, so I get 0.67 grams. And for the temperature, I do the final temperature minus the initial temperature. So I do 28 minus 22, and that gives me 6 degrees Celsius. And for the mass of the water, I had 100 milliliters, which is the same as 100 grams. All right, so in order to figure out the amount of energy that we have in our food, we're going to do the mass of the water, which was 100 grams, the specific heat of water in calories, which is 1 calorie per gram degrees Celsius, and the delta T of my water, which was 6. So that gives me 600 calories. Now I've got to figure out my food calories. That is, um, it's a different unit. It's a calorie with a big C because that's a kilocalorie. So all I have to do with this number is divided by 1,000. So 600 divided by 1,000 is 0.6 calories with a big C. So to figure out the amount of calories per gram in my food, I'm going to do 0.6, because that's my calories, divided by the mass of the chip that burned, which was 0.67 grams. So I do 0 0.6 divided by 0.67, and that will give you my amount of calories per gram. The end.